Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate you. I wanted to take a moment today to talk about what it's like binging a television show versus being forced to watch it weekly as it airs. Um, I think both are very interesting. I think they both have their pros and cons, but um, what I do want to get into first is what it's it, the experience of watching something week by week. It adds so much anticipation, and every cliffhanger of, of, of each episode is that much more enticing and that much more interesting and kind of sucks you in uh, very quickly. When I was watching Barry in Succession um, earlier this year and, and, and I was you know forced to wait each week every Sunday to, to watch them I was so invested I felt that much more into the story and was um, I, I can't help but just keep using the word excited I just always was excited and had something to look forward to the thing with watching weekly is you always have something to look forward to at the end of the week or beginning or whenever the episode is airing and that's such a nice thing it's such a nice um feeling to to desire the next episode and to want to see it but not being able to having to wait there's something very interesting and i think it's an uh, kind of an underrated thing i know a lot of people like hate having to wait for anything nowadays because we're so used to such a fast paced world now with with everything on the internet and how everything online from a content standpoint is you don't have to wait ever you you not only have a plethora of things to watch but you there are youtubers and and video creators that post every single day you never have to wait but it's nice having to wait each week because um just the like like i said that anticipation that looking forward to it it adds something to it it completely changes the experience of each episode each episode feels like you're just kind of watching a, 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 sh a shorter movie every week and it's wonderful i think it's such an amazing feeling uh getting ex getting excited about that getting getting into it and 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 look you know like yeah like not to sound like a broken record but looking forward to that is is such a nice thing so now let's get into what it's like binging a show. Binging a show is is obviously it's cool how you can you never have to wait. You can especially if like a whole season drops on Netflix or something. One of the few shows that like that I've binged the hell out of was BoJack Horseman, and it was it was a it was really it's like one of those shows that it's so good you could just go from one to the next and keep watching them. However, what I'll say is, anytime I've binged things, anytime I've I've gotten so much out of a story or, or or played a video game and beaten it within a few days or a few weeks there are so many things i forget there are countless moments in bojack horseman that i don't remember because i watched all of it so quickly i didn't really get enough time between each episode to think about what i was watching so now i almost want to rewatch it because i don't remember so much of it you know i re I watched the first season when it aired in like 2016 or something so that was like seven years ago and i binged it and never watched it again maybe maybe rewatched a little bit of it with with people here and there but i i there there are so many little details um that i do not recall at all and and that's um that's the downside of binging is is i you know what while, while i have a reason to rewatch it and have that motivation to oh well now i want to see it again I kind of like the feeling of of remembering things a little more easily because I'm I'm having to to think about each episode, right? So that was an example of that. When I played Red Dead Redemption 2, I beat that in like 2 weeks. I think I was doing uh, I was working at Guitar Center at the time and after every single shift, whether I was out out early or whether I closed, I sat and played that game for at least 6 to 7, 8 hours each each session the playing red dead 2 because i was so into that game absolutely loved it red dead 2 is one of my favorite experiences with um story any kind of story or any video game ever and it's like an 80 hour 100 it's like almost 100 hours of, of gameplay and i finished it in two weeks and i again i don't remember majority of the story i don't remember so many of the moments i almost felt like i i don't want to say i took it for granted but you you end up experiencing all of it so quickly that there's no time to even think about it and ponder like experiencing anything very quickly you're, you're just there's your brain isn't going to have time to process it so that's one other aspect of binging one the plus about binging what's really cool about it is it's as, it's, it's as if you own the book that the author is giving you you're you're there's no one stopping you at each chapter watching things weekly is basically as if, if you had harry potter or any kind of story and you were forced to only read it one chapter a day or one chapter a week that would be pretty rough 
Uh, I have memories of, of staying up late and having a flashlight on my on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because I was so into that book and I can't imagine someone like forcing me to wait a week between each chapter. So that's the thing with binging is you don't really have to, you know, there's no stopping you and there's no, and you, what's funny is with binging, you do still have the option to like watching it, watch it whatever you want. You know, you don't have to watch it all at once. We're all going to do that probably because why not? But um, you still do have that option to like every, just save it for every week if you really wanted to. Um, granted, I feel like certain shows like BoJack Horseman and certain, certain episodic things in, in these, in these series uh, are meant to be binged. BoJack Horseman, a lot of Netflix shows are kind of meant to be just one long watch, or at least you watch like them in sections, maybe every three or four episodes or something. So um, that is another aspect of it. There are also shows that are so long running, if you don't binge them, or if you don't get so much out of them and, 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 and really try to burn through it, you'll probably never finish it. I just started watching One Piece with a friend recently, and we watched maybe six or seven episodes, and it's an easy show to just kind of burn through, but I'm thinking to myself, if I don't force myself to like watch the shit out of this a thousand episode running series, I'm never going to finish it. I will never get to the end of it. So there are all these different approaches. And obviously, depending on each show, you kind of, you know, have to make those decisions yourself. Again, when you have access to all of it, you can do whatever you want. That, that, that's the beautiful thing about just having it is you have that option. I watched Fleabag recently and... The show is an entirety of 16 episodes, and each episode is about 30 minutes. You can watch the whole thing in a day. Fleabag is a fantastic show. Um, I, I really love the story. I love the main character. Um, oh, the, the actress's name is, is escaping me right now. I gotta give her credit, though. She is fantastic in this. Uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Phoebe Waller-Bridge wrote the play, and then they developed a show on it, but... It was it was fantastic, and and what's great is that when I was watching it, I um, wanted to savor it. You know, I wanted to not burn through it so quickly because because once things end, once you're done with it, you, you can't do that again. There there is something about that too, as far as you know. Once you finish something, you don't get to f do that for the first time again. You don't get to experience anything for the first time more than once. So there is that where. Right now, I'm kind of waiting to finish Yellowstone or catch up on Yellowstone. I'm on season five, and I have about, I don't know, I think six or seven episodes left of, of the season. And I'm kind of waiting to, to, to get into it because, A, I have no idea when the second half of season five is going to air. It could be another year or two. I, I, it seems like they're taking their time for sure. But um, I don't want to to jump into it so quickly because I, I enjoy having that feeling of, oh, there's still episodes to watch. You got something to say? Did you want me to finish Yellowstone? Here you go, baby. Here you go, baby. That joy of, of a first watch through is just, um, there's nothing like it. There's absolutely nothing to compare to, uh, to that feeling. So um, yeah, I, I, I genuinely think both have their, their place. I, I love things being drawn out and I love things being quick so I don't know I guess at the end of the day it's it's really whatever your preference is and whatever you like I'm pretty sure like everybody binges things nowadays and nobody wants to wait but um, th there used to be like events like people got together to like experience things every week I can't imagine how many watch parties there were when like Lost or The Sopranos were were airing in that time and and imagine that feeling of getting together on a Sunday night with some friends show airs at maybe eight or nine o'clock but you get together at four or five and you just have that whole like few those like three or four hours to talk about the previous week's episode you get to make your little predictions you get to discuss what every character is going through and you you get when when watching things weekly you get all that time to to ponder and pondering things is such an underrated feeling i i love pondering things and sitting on it thinking about it Wondering what's going to happen next, wondering where they're taking it. I, I love that so much that I, I wish that that was still a thing. And there are shows that still air weekly, obviously, on HBO and certain networks. That is still a thing. But it's funny how the Netflix binge is completely different. Watching, you know, the binge watching takes away that togetherness with other people. And 
to me, in all honesty, binging things is, is, is another thing that adds to the antisocial behavior that's that's kind of corrupting our, our society at the moment. There, there's there's too much, There's too there are too many options and too many reasons to be um, antisocial, too, too many distractions. And I think that's, I would put that along with it. When you binge watch something and you can just like burn through a whole series by yourself, why would you want to wait for other people? Why would you want to, you know, sit and be patient on your own. You, you wouldn't. You're going to experience it all and just kind of burn through it by yourself. And that's a magical thing. Too. That's a really wonderful feeling too. Just having your own solo like watch through of something or your own solo experience. But the togetherness of these things is is something that I miss. Something that I that I kind of want to do again. When Breaking Bad was finishing up airing in 2013, like I'll never forget watching the first the first episode of the second half of season five with my friends and we had to wait like a year and a half or something like that. You had to wait. We had to wait so long for that. I'm not going to spoil anything. Obviously, if you haven't watched Breaking Bad, are you living under a fucking rock? But I don't want to say anything because the way season, the way the first half of season five ends is one of the greatest cliffhangers in television history. And the unhinged excitement that we all had for that second half beginning um, was there was nothing like that. Like we were all like so in it and so excited i was watching it with two my two best friends two of my best friends and um that that was that was so wonderful and you can't do that if you watch breaking bad now and you can just burn through the whole thing you don't get to wait and you don't get to like when you have a whole series to to burn through there's there's no there's not going to be a single moment of of looking forward to it and um and you know like i said that anticipation of it so that was really nice. I, I do I do miss that and I do like that. And I think all I'm trying to say with this is, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with waiting to watch things and there's nothing wrong with, with not feeling like you have to to get through it so quickly. You don't have to binge everything. So yeah, um I just wanted to talk about that and uh yeah, if you're like me, you you might love slowing down uh, a watch a watch through of a series so I don't know do, do what do whatever you like I guess obviously but just something to think about something to think about as far as uh, forced patience is is a very wonderful thing and uh, something that not enough people think about I think so anyway uh, enjoy things however you like I uh, just wanted to share some of my thoughts on that I appreciate you all watching thank you so much